Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's find the area of one leaf of the curve r is equal to cosine of two theta. First, what does the graph of this look like? Let's consider in r theta first before we move to the xy plane. So we're moving twice as fast as the input. So we'll have a whole period right in here and then another one over here. And notice that this is pi away from over here, so we can correct this, this to be over there and this to be over here, because negative r will be up here positively over here in this quadrant. And so this is what it looks like. Now notice that one hump goes between negative pi fourths and pi fourths. So really, we're looking at finding the area of this petal between negative pi fours and pi fours. The rest of the petals kind of fill out like this and like that and like that. Okay, so we're gonna use the format. We have r squared over two d theta to find the area. So we're gonna have the integral from negative pi fours to pi fours of cosine squared two theta all over two d theta. We use an identity. So where we're going to take cosine, we double what's in there. We add one, and then we divide by um, two, but we have another two, so it'll be four right there, d theta, and we're going from negative pi force to pi force. Notice that from negative pi force to pi force has a distance of pi halves, which is the period of cosine four theta which means um, in a whole period we're going up and down enough, but this just cancels out here in the calculation, the area in that, of that part is zero. And that's especially since this is just added on and multiplied by something, so hence it's gone. So we're just taking the integral of a fourth, which is a fourth theta, negative pi force to pi force, which is just one fourth times pi halves, which is pi eights, the area of one petal. Thanks for watching.